Hi, my name is Jackie Antico, and I'm a product manager and developer advocate here at Thought Industries. Today, I'm going to be taking you through an installation and deployment guide for Helium, our new front end framework. So, we're going to go ahead and get started and come into our terminal here. And we're going to install Helium with the command sudo npmi g, that's just going to be our global flag. So, we're going to install it globally. Then, we're going to do at Thought Industries slash Helium. And we're just going to run this command. We're just going to hit clear and we're going to CD into our desktop and we're going to run LS. So you can just see that our desktop is empty right now. Then we're going to init our first Helium app. So we're going to run npm init Helium app. And this is just going to prompt us for the directory that we want this project to live in. So I'm just going to call this sample app for now and hit enter. And now you can see there's a sample app here on our desktop. And also when we run LS, you can see now we have sample app. So now we're just going to CD into sample app and run npm install to install all the node modules. Okay, so now that all the node modules are installed, we're just going to run, we're just going to run clear to get a fresh terminal. We're going to run npm run authenticate. And essentially this command is just going to prompt us to enter various details about our learning instance. And this is going to connect our local Helium app to our Thought Industries learning instance. So we're just going to hit enter. And first it's going to ask us for the instance URL. So we're going to come over here to Google Chrome and you can see we already have popped up um, the dashboard. So I'm just going to come in here and copy and paste the URL. I'm going to paste that in and I'm including the HTTPS. I'm going to hit enter and this is going to prompt us for our API key. So we're going to come back to our learning instance, scroll down to settings, click on security, and then we're going to copy and paste this API key. So I already have the API key um, copied to my clipboard. So I'm just going to come back here, hit command V to paste that in, hit enter. Then I'm going to enter a nickname for this instance. This is just used on the deployment side. It's not public facing. So I'm just going to hit test for this. And it's going to ask me for the email of a test user. The user that I entered here is the view you're going to see when you uh, start your Helium app. So essentially whatever courses that this user has access to are the courses that are going to pop up on your Helium app. I'm just going to enter myself here, jack.antico at thoughtindustries.com. Make sure that's spelled right and hit enter. And now this is also going to prompt me for another instance. Um, I could add another instance here. I'm not going to in this example. For example, I could add a production instance. So when I'm creating a Helium app, I could deploy first to my sandbox and then to my production. Right now, we're just going to do a sandbox though. So I'm going to enter no for that. So it looks like that works. So now I'm just going to run npm run dev. And this is just going to start a local web server. So it looks like it built successfully. So I'm going to copy and paste this localhost 3000, come back to my Chrome and just paste that in and hit enter. And you can see here is a Helium app powered and built fully with Helium. So you can see we have, um, you know, this is the starter app that comes out of the box with Helium. So we have a header up here with navigation, a dashboard, a catalog. You can see I'm currently logged in as myself. This JA stands for Jack Antico. We have a hero, uh, we have a featured catalog. Um, we have some documentation resources that we link to down here and all sorts of good stuff. I can come here to the catalog page and I can see a breakdown of the catalog as long as with these, as well as these different filters and awesome. So now I'm going to come back here to my terminal and I'm going to stop this local machine with just control C and I'm going to hit clear. And now I'm going to deploy, um, this right here is just running locally. Now I'm going to deploy it to my learning instance URL. So I'm just going to run npm run deploy and hit enter. Oh, I actually forgot my nickname that I entered earlier. So I'm just going to hit clear npm run deploy test, which is what we used earlier. And you can see now this starts the deployment process. Awesome, so it looks like our deployment finished. Um, you can see it's a deploy successful right here. So now if we come back to Chrome, 
um, we click out a local host and we come to our just our URL for our learning instance. You can see just hit, just to hit refresh. Um, this is now our Helium app deployed um, to production. So you can scroll down. You can see the same featured catalog uh, documentation. You can click here into the catalog and you can see now here's our full catalog. And this is all powered and built with Helium. So that finishes our installation and deployment guide. I hope you found this helpful and thanks for stopping by.